What's up, Tiger fans? It's Morgan here, back again with another five-minute video about your Clemson Tigers. And it's kind of a bittersweet uh, video for me because, as you know, Clemson received their first uh, declare to, for the NFL, their first opt-out of the Orange Bowl this postseason for 2022. And that comes, by the way, of Miles Murphy releasing a statement on Instagram about him leaving the program and no, not participating in the Orange Bowl practices and preparation and instead electing, electing to get ready to go to the NFL draft and uh, do his pro days and, and just prepare for that, which we all wish him best and, and well because he's uh, had a great career here with the Clemson Tigers, probably always wanted to do more than what he did but uh, obviously was part of a dominant defensive line, someone that was always very consistent for the Tigers. And so we wanted to take a look at him here today and uh, see what his stats are and also read his comments from Instagram. Let me pull up some of the stuff that we have from him. Uh, over on Instagram, a really, really nice message. Um, Dabo Sweeney earlier today said that he was going pro, that he wasn't there, but he was excited for him to get the opportunity. So um, I'll read what he put on Instagram. Before I begin, I just want to thank God for the blessings he has bestowed upon me and my family. Without him, I am nothing. I want to start by thanking my coaches, both past and present, for helping me, helping me shape me both into the man and player I am today. Your constant love and support has meant everything to me. To Coach Sweeney, thank you for bringing me into your program and making me feel at home. Coach Goodwin, Coach Hall, and the entire staff, you believed in me from day one, and you will all and you all will forever hold a special place in my heart. Clemson football is the best of is the best of hands moving forward with you at the helm. To the fans, you took a kid from Marietta, Georgia and made him your own. There is nothing like game day in Clemson. We have the best fans in the world. Wherever the future takes me, I'm better for it by having played in front of you all. I'm forever grateful to be a Tiger. You are the backbone of this program, and I'm going to miss you all. To my brothers in the locker room, we came in as teammates and left as family. I can't even begin to tell you how much you all mean to me. Going to battle with you every Saturday has been the biggest honor of my entire life. I can't thank you enough for the memories and putting it all on the line for me each and every Saturday, and I'm so thankful Clemson brought us together. Lastly, to my family, I love you all so much. You are my rock, my heart, and my soul. I am forever indebted to you for the sacrifices you have made for me. And I love you with every fiber of my being. Everything I do, I do for you. With that being said, after much thought and prayer, I'm officially announcing that I will be declaring for the 2023 NFL Draft. It has been my dream for as long as I could remember to play in the NFL. And I believe it is the right time to take that next step. Again, I think this was one that we all assumed would happen. And we are seeing now that it has happened just a wonderful message there from Miles Murphy to his uh, family, the coaches, and the uh, staff, and the players as well. You look at his Clemson career stats, 115 total tackles, 17 and a half sacks, and five forced fumbles uh, are some of his highlights since joining the Tigers. He's really been a mainstay on the defensive line from the beginning because he has just been so physically imposing. You could tell from the very beginning when he was a true freshman that he was going to get a lot of playing time, and he sure did. He's somebody that uh, the defensive line could rely on, wasn't out much in injury, and spent a ton of time uh, making sure that one side of the defensive line was always uh, solidified for sure. So the Clemson Tigers will miss him. It's going to be very difficult to replace him. And uh, it's going to be very difficult to move on without him for sure. He's definitely someone that we will all miss, uh, Miles, for sure. Let's take a look at the roster. I want to pull that up from my roster chart. I, move, I removed um, Miles Murphy 
and I haven't taken off Xavier Thomas because he has yet to actually declare what he's going to do. He did play in only four games this past season, so there is a possibility that he could go back and redshirt um, this past season because of the issues and lack of playing time, and he could have another opportunity. Um, you know, he's been dealing with foot problems um, and and having to have multiple surgeries there. So this Clemson defensive line front was very dominant, but they could have been so much more if Thomas was there. Maybe he wants to come back and have another opportunity at it. Hard to say what he will do. He obviously has the measurables, maybe not so much the college career that he's wanted so far, just the way the things uh, all worked out. But Whatever Xavier Thomas will do, we'll we'll keep track of it over on Twitter at the Morgan T Show. After Thomas, though, you look at the players that are there, and you're really, really losing a lot of experience. We don't know what KJ Henry will do for sure. We don't know um, if he's gone um, or Justin Maskell for sure. Really, I mean, I took them off because they did run down the hill for senior day. So they were honored in that case. But there has been rumors on Twitter and back and forth where they're hinting at, teasing, coming back because a lot of those guys were here during the COVID times and so they have opportunities to make up another year. To me, I think a lot of these guys are are athletic or have the measurables, have have the, um, the film now to prove that they can go on to the NFL. Um, but it is going to leave a big gap for the Tigers because you see there Greg Williams is a senior who, who hasn't played a ton. Um, Kay Denhoff and Zaire Patterson were highly recruited guys, are redshirt sophomores or will be redshirt sophomores, and you really haven't seen them at all. Jaheim Lawson, we assume, would be redshirted, and he'll be a redshirt freshman going into next year. And then you have your true freshman from the 2023 class, that again are going to be brand new to college football in David Ojebwe, AJ Hoffler, and Tamarian Parker. Uh, those guys are obviously extremely talented, but are lacking in experience. So this defensive in front is definitely something that is losing um, experience from this year to next year. How will they be able to replace that? Are they going to get guys back like XT? Or maybe, you know, even the long shot of Henry or Maskell. I don't know. But um, let's say that those those guys all go to the NFL, as we assume. Then maybe Clemson has an opportunity at defensive end where they could go and get someone from the portal. Um, still hard to say. Would, had to be, would have to be a really good fit. I'm not really sure what these guys bring to the table. Maybe it's something that you don't make a decision right now. Maybe it's something you see where you're at after the bowl game. You see how they perform in the bowl game. Maybe Greg Williams has just been waiting for his time. Maybe Kay Denoff and Zaire Patterson are a lot better than we 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 know. Um, or maybe even you wait even further till past the spring game and see what happens after then because there is another opportunity to pick up someone from the portal after spring, whereas you know they may be on a team that they not might not be getting the snaps they want or the repetitions they want in spring, so they already kind of see – Things are, are stacking up against them for their current team. Maybe they're looking for another team in the early or late spring, early summer in May. So, um, you know, no need to hit the panic button, but definitely something that I think the Tigers and Tiger fans are looking at as an area of concern heading into the 2023 uh, season. <laughs> you know, we're already thinking about 2023 now, uh, and that's the way college football is. That's why we love it, because the guys, they don't get long-term contracts around here they're usually here two or three years, and they're out of here. So um, we will see what Clemson will do with their roster management. Hey, let me know in the comments what you think. I know this is a lot longer than five minutes, but I don't care. I want to talk about the Clemson Tigers, and I know you do too. So put in the comments what you think. If you like the video, like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel so you can stay up to date on all of my exclusive Clemson content I put out every single week.